Hello, wonderful people. Thanks so much for tuning in to this uh, sheet improvement. Uh, it will go on YouTube, but it's not on YouTube first. If you're watching this on YouTube, everyone who has access to Better Sheets, who is a Better Sheets member, has gotten access to this sheet improvement video first. Drop them in a folder, they get access to that, and it is a one-time, right now, it's one-time price only. Um, what we're going to do today, though, is a completely free video. You are more than welcome to watch it. I hope you enjoy it. And we're going to take uh, this euniverse.io sheet that is very active. As you can see, there are anonymous animals up here. Um, at one point in the last few minutes, there was a few, like five to six. Um, but I think we can make this a little more better, like, design. Uh, we can make this a little even better for users and also just add some more cool stuff to it just to make it that much better. This is what we do. We do better sheets here. So I have a couple of things prepared, but I want to go through what is the purpose of the sheet and why are we changing it? What are we doing to it? So one, it is an electric car company um, that had companies that we're tracking. We're tracking their stock ticker. Um, it's for a, um, a newsletter, EV Universe. Go check out EVUniverse.io if you want to get their free newsletter. Go over there. Okay. And check this out. This is a beautiful landing page. It's got this gorgeous blue, this gorgeous green. Um, and we have a sheet, a Google Sheet that has black and white. So we're definitely going to change that. We're going to add some color to it. Um, the next thing is there is how many lines up here? There's one line, two line, three line, four line, five lines of header. Now headers, uh, I have a couple videos about headers where this is a pretty useful header, right? Um, we get to, we can join the newsletter, we can go to Twitter, find uh, that person, uh, we can find the buy me a coffee. We even have um, a button over here that says how to get notifications. You can turn on notifications for this sheet, even though you don't own it, um, which is really cool. And then there's this email right here, like he gives us our his email, contact him. Um, but then here's this other information. So we have a number of companies here. We have last updated. We definitely want to know that because say we're coming to this six months later and we want to know like, are there any changes like recently? Like, um, we this is a good thing to know. Also, it's good to know um, last updates for yourself. Like, if you have a schedule, right, and you pop this into like an email that's scheduled or like a reminder, and then you go and check it, and you're like, oh, I checked it this morning. <laughs> like, oh, this has been updated. Or if you have someone working for you, it's really good to have this kind of last updated here. Um, these latest ads, but check it out. These latest ads go off to the right and then we have to scroll over. And I'm going to do something right away when we copy this um, where it improves the sheet uh, immensely because it's the biggest pet peeve of mine is that there are these added uh, rows and columns here that make the user, if we do that, like scroll down, it makes it really hard to use this sheet. Okay, so we have a lot to do. We're going to change the colors a little bit. We, we're going to do something with this header. I'm not exactly sure, but stick around, and we're definitely going to do something. Right now, I'm going to pause the video and copy the sheet so that we don't see. Look, this is a really popular sheet, but we can definitely make it better. We can make it more interesting to look at. We can also get, improve the room that someone has to work with this. We can also visually look at these differently. Um, let me uh, – I'm going to bring a whole lot of stuff in here, but we're going to do it together together. I'm going to pause the video, copy the sheet, and I'll be right back in a GIF. Fee. I meant to say Jiffy. That was not a GIF, GIF thing. Uh, we're back in a Jiffy. Um, so now we have a sheet that I can edit. I'm going to edit the heck out of this thing. The very first thing I'm going to do, though, this is a super a stupid pet peeve of mine. Um, but I'm going to delete all of these blanks, uh, blank cells down here. All right, so all of this here. Now I'm writing on the screen. <laughs> One second. All right, we're back. And let's just delete all of this right here. See, it's hard to find the exact spot, but we can delete all of these. We're going to delete a bunch of columns as well. I'm going to move my face over here because this bar here shouldn't be so small. We can delete, it looks like, all of 
Let's just double check. Oh, there's something there. There we go. From K onward, we can delete. With no malice, no mercy, we're killing the sheets. Now, this bar down here, much easier to use for a user. Um, we want to figure out how to, what to do with this. Um, let's do something really interesting um, that probably is counterintuitive. So when you think of making a sheet and you're going to put this out publicly, you probably think first off, like, you do want to give a lot of information. You want to give sort of context. You want to allow people to, uh, you know, monetize, join your newsletter, all this stuff. Right away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these things. We have two separate things going on here, right? We have sort of contacts. We have email, Twitter, buy me a coffee, the newsletter. And then we have information about how to improve your usage of the sheet. So we really want actually people to use this sheet first and foremost. So this how to get a notification thing, we want to put that uh Foremost in <laughs> um, latest ads, I really do wonder if we need to have these at the top. One easy way to make this way easier, um, let's first create a contact list. Okay, we're going to create a contact sheet, sorry, contact. And this is like any normal website. Um, we are going to move. We want people to subscribe to the newsletter, but we do want the like, extra stuff like pick one thing and put that on pick one thing to do and put that on the front sheet and everything else let's put here we can also design this better um we'll come back to this in a second um let's give it a little more space because i'm going to do something funky with this it's going to look like um a what is it called it's going to look like a um, link in bio kind of thing. I, I just did this recently where you can create a Google sheet that is essentially a link in bio or like a link tree. Um, so I'm going to use that same principle here and make this into like a link tree design. Um, we got one more thing. Let me know if anything is missing. We want this. So we want to know his email address. We want to know, um, what else do we want? We had buy me a coffee, email address, and Twitter. So I'm going to design this in a second, but I want to do one big thing here. Um, this database is live and refreshes every few minutes. All of this information made by Jane. Jan, sorry, I'm going to pronounce your name wrong. Jan, uh, all of this information is useful at, in one moment, but like 99.9% .9 of the time that we're using the sheet, we want this information. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to take this uh, frozen rose and move it all the way up. Um, I'm going to actually see this um, company name, these headers here. I'm actually going to move that all the way to the top to row one. And then I'm going to freeze that row. Okay, so we're only going to freeze this one row. And now this header here, as we scroll, it goes away. Right. So once a user gets, OK, I, I can I can join the newsletter. I can, yes, I understand the database is live. Yes, I understand the number of companies. Yes, I understand all this stuff. Once they see that information and make a choice to not use it, they don't want to see it again. We don't want to like keep it at the like head um, of this. This now provides us now the user a large, much larger amount of space to actually get the information we want. Right. So that's one big improvement. But also, let's make this a little more interesting for the user to see. Um, here, let me do this. I want to vertically align down. I want everything to be centered. But I do want some of this like design, right? Like this color. This color is killer. So what I'm going to do, I use this uh, HTML color. I'm just going to do, command, just take a little screenshot. Let's do that. And I want to get these three colors. I want this green, this blue. Let me get a bigger one here because I want the the uh, extremes of this. So I'm going to just load this up into HTML colors. Let's get this screenshot. I think is that one. Yeah. There we go. So now all I want is this color, this green. We're going to use, let's use this blue. It's nice and bright. 
Um, which blue? There's so many little blues because it is a gradient. Let's go with this one. That's that nice blue gradient right there. Blue sky, green ground. That's all about electric vehicle, right? So let's go back to mine. Let's close. Oh, I'll actually we'll come back to the first one. So let's just create some custom colors here. There we go. Okay. Nice. We can even turn this into like a charcoal here or even to white. Um, that looks cool. Yeah. Um, and then all of this section here, let's do this. Let's get the, that green and let's see what that looks like. We can always change it later. I want this like earthy green or this like, ooh, the middle green maybe. Maybe we want to sort of redo that uh, gradient. I didn't think about that until just now. Let's try that. Let's... Get this green, sort of mixed color, right? Let's look at that, and then we'll also just grab while we're here, let's grab the other green, this darker green. And we'll have that available just in case we want to change it. So this is what it looks like, um, that green. We might even want to lighten that up, or who knows? Let's create a custom. But we'll have them save once we create these custom. Yeah, we definitely like that other one. <laughs> that lighter, that lighter green worked much better. Maybe even just change maybe this um, row to this darker one. Yeah. So now we we recreate this um, that gradient right here. All right. We also want to. Oh yeah, we definitely want a white text on this all here. That looks nice. Oh yeah, now we're popping. Now this white text is popping. Um, there we go. Oh yeah, that looks so much cleaner. Next thing we definitely want to do is view grid lines off. All right, that will clean us up a lot. Uh, and we want to take all these borders off. And I like to really use colors as borders and d disregard these sort of extra lines. And that really cleans up a lot of the image. Cool, so we have that, and now as we scroll down, boom, we have just this header, really looks a lot cleaner, gives our user a lot more room to work. One thing I wanna change here. Okay, so we might wanna add some logos and give it a little visual. Before we add the logos though, we need an extra, piece of information. I'm, I see another border. I'm just going to kill all the borders on this whole sheet um, and see what that looks like. We don't really need the borders. Um, I'm going to do add one thing. Actually, let's add it right insert left here. Uh, URL. Okay. So this is going to be, oh, and it looks like these names we, we really want to freeze. So we can freeze this column. That might look really cool. Whoops. Oh, is there a merged? There is this merged. There we go. Let's unmerge that. Let's also move it over. There. And I think, I think we're going to have the problem here as well. So what I want to do is maybe I can copy and paste format. Let's see. Yeah, that sort of works. And then we'll come back and let's do command Y, make that really fast for you. So we, if we ever want to do something again, just do command Y. Um, and now this, this green really cuts up, oops, really cuts up the entire sheet a lot visually for our user. Instead of this, um, Instead of relying on lines, we can rely on color here. Um, and yes, 100% uh, don't sort of create a situation where you're, you, you, you can't use it if you're colorblind. Like this green, you don't have to know it's green in order to use this, right? It might be a shade or a green, uh, some other thing for someone who's colorblind. Um, but we, we can use this as you know, a nice um, 
cutter instead of a line here, instead of a couple lines, those border lines. So let's do this. We are going to move everything into the center. I know this sounds really boring, but we do want to do this for our users so that we can freeze that first. Um, we can freeze that first column. And I think that's going to look really cool and be totally worth taking this extra five minutes here and moving stuff over one. I think it's going to be totally worth it. And we can do one more thing. What we can do is take this entire row, let's not include that, and make it like this. And that might make it look really clean there. Yeah, that looks super clean. And hopefully we can, let's see if we can move it over. Ah, there's another problem. There's another merged. Where is the merged ones? Where is the merged? Where are you merged? Let's find it. There, oh, we, we didn't get all the way to the end. Okay, so probably screaming at me. Oh my God, there's that one more. You got one more to do. And then we have to... Remember everything we did to it. And now these, these hoping to see go public soon. Let's just, I liked this idea of seeing these on the sheet, but let's make them actually look like this, like they belong here instead of just uh, an afterthought, right? There you go. And let's see, let, instead of hope, let's just say going public soon. Who knows? We might want to change that. If you're watching, then it actually isn't, and you have some legal ramifications of you can't just say it's going public soon, or it's my belief, then totally change that. But now these look like they belong on this list. Cool. So now we have this this uh, frozen column as well, and as if we ever add more stuff here to the right, um, which we will in just a hot second, um, we can um, scroll through here, and that's it. Maybe we want to. Also keep the, um, we might want to change the stock ticker over here or, yeah, make it, instead of a company name here, you might want stock ticker only so that it sort of gives you just a, remem you remember slightly what it is. Um, and maybe a company name, you actually, these are really long, long. So actually, let's do that. I want to move that stock ticker over and just have like, a, it reminds you a little bit that it's there, right? Um, we don't need the entire uh, name as we scroll over. Like we're, we know we're looking at Tesla Motors if we're looking at TSL. TSLA. All right. But here's one thing we want to do. Um, and it's a little complicated, but not really. We need a URL. Okay. So we're going to do just Tesla. I think it's Tesla.com. We'll double check. Um, let's do Nikola Corporation. Let's find there.com. And what I'm about to add, I'm not going to do the entire thing. It's just Nikola Motor. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it, and you'll be able to add the URLs yourself um, if you want to actually put these on the sheet. Okay, let's do Nikola. Where are you? There you are. So we have our, our dot coms here. Um, I'm going to go over to another video I, I, I have on YouTube. If you haven't watched this yet on YouTube or if you're a member of Better Sheets, you have it as access. I add icons. You can add your icons to a sheet with just a domain name. I want to share this really cool little thing. That Pause that video. So the script, it's not actually a script. It is literally a URL provided by my friend James over on Twitter. Um, we have this URL. I'm just... There it is. And we're going to add a logo here, okay? A logo. And all we need is this image uh, URL. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this A10. We need that domain to be J7. There we go. And so this, all it does legitimately all it does is go to this Google user content, look for favicons for the domain, and it'll put it here. You can change the size. We'll try 64. Let's see if that looks nice. So now, as I, if I copy and paste this down, oops, we have these. Um, let's do this. Let's add one more. 
Yep, my mistake here. Let's move it over. Paste, and that didn't work. <laughs> Let's take the entire thing, cut it, and move it. There we go. And we're going to... Let's just... There we go. And come in C, and I'm going to just copy and paste this all the way down. And there we go. So now you have a logo of the company. As long as you have their URL here, um, and we can see if what is this company. We will find out, and we'll put their URL. Mar uh, Bid. All right. So spybyd.com. Great. And let's double check that they have a logo. Oh, no logo there. So sometimes this doesn't work. Let's see if, um, if we just do bid.com. See if that changes. It might not change that. So some of them won't work at all, um, but some of them do, and it looks really, really cool. Like. Let's see if we can get this logo. See it just a couple more before we move on. But I think you can move the oops. You can move this logo over to the far left, I think, and it would look super cool. Yeah, I think this is gonna look super cool if we move this logo. So let's uh let's do view, freeze, no columns. We're gonna move K over. And we don't even need, need to label this logo, right? We can just make this a really cool thing that just pops up. And also let's just make this a little bit smaller. And they will, the logos will morph down a little bit as you make your cell a little bit smaller. Let's make it a square here. That always looks nice design-wise, let's make it um, 20 and then all of these just give these a little bit more room besides I always like doing this um, making them very specific sizes you know what let's make it bigger 50% bigger 30 that oh yeah and that, that gives them more room and then let's just make this bigger 30 now this is a square you can add some um, another column here if you want to give it a little more space, but I think it's really cool um, looking, and it will add a little pizzazz to your sheets if you use it. Again, um, another video on my YouTube channel, and if you're a Better Sheets member, there's also a video um, in the folder you have access to to give you this link here. Um, also, feel free to go back and pause the video over there um, and just copy down the link. Uh, you can use any domain whatsoever, and sometimes, as you can see here, it's not going to work. Um, but you can also put the domains over here, like hide them a little bit. Um, one more thing I want to do. So we have this color here, right? This red and green. And this is pretty cool. Um, it shows you the change in percentage of that particular number. Sometimes, though, I find that numbers and colors are really hard to read. So we want to actually make the graph itself uh, also go up and down, meaning uh, change the color. We can do this, right? So if you if we go over to the spark line, um, let me put in right here, spark line. We have some options here. Um, let's do this. Let's put our options here. Um, and I think it's going to be color. I think it's only going to be color. I'll double check this if it doesn't work. Green. There we go. See, now that's slightly green. You can barely see that, but you can sort of tell if it's in red. There's red. But this one is going up and to the right, and we know this is up because this is green here, 5.2%. So what we can do is this. We can take this spark line and go if um, this is greater than zero. Actually, yeah. Um, then what do we do? We say, if that's true, we want the line to be green. 
Um, if it's not true, if it's false, we want the line to be red. So here, so we take that, and now we can copy and paste this all the way down in C. But this is also very interesting because this percentage is from previous close. So this is only one day, but this graph is showing you the last uh, 90 days. So what you need to do is figure out the price from 90 days ago and the price of today, do the math, and then if that's greater than. So if, let's see here. Um, let's do it over here. Let, so now we know how to do this, right? We have these spark lines. We just change the color green or red. Um, I'm going to delete not all of this. I'm just going to delete. We'll come back to this. So we just need Google Finance price of today minus 90. There you go. And then we're also going to need Google Finance E7 price today. Okay. So we have these two prices. We need to take the price of today minus the price from 90, 90 years ago, 90 days ago. And now we have this, this number, right? Let's see what happens here. Whoa. Turn no data. Hmm. One second. All right. So we're back. And I figured this out. So we have the price of today with just uh, the same thing that's in our column E. And then to get the price of 90 days ago, we have to do a little bit of indexing. Um, if we check out what does Google Finance look like um, 90 days ago, uh, it has this reference error and it has this table, right? This table is really useful when we're creating this spark line, but it's really unhelpful because we really just want this 449 from 90 days ago. So we use index around that. Um, and we can just do comma two comma two to grab that uh, second column, second row. And now we have 449, so that's the price it was 90 days ago. So let's cut that and do a little function here. We're going to wrap this in a, um, uh, we're gonna take the price of today minus 90 days ago, and we're gonna get some difference, right? This 206, so 90 days ago, this is the difference between this point and this point on the graph, okay? So all we need to do then is wrap this in if, and say if this is greater than uh, zero, then what should we do? Well, we should just give the graph in green. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm going to copy and paste this. Actually, I'm gonna move this over here, so we can use that there. Copy paste this. We have this saying it's green. Um, if it's greater than, if just that F7 is, but we really want to replace it with all of this. So let's go here, not F7, but this entire Thing. So now we say Google Finance, get us the price today minus the price 90 days ago. And if it's over zero, we want it to turn green. If it is not, then we want it to turn red. Okay, so you're probably wondering what else we can do because there is going to be, um, what is going on, B7? There you go. So there is going to be a problem where they're the same, right? Oh, they're all green. Let's do, let's make sure this works. And it actually turns it red. There it is. So now that's red. That should be red as well. There we go. So we have some red, we have some green. Um, and again, this is really, really important to note that if you struggle with colorblindness, this doesn't preclude you from knowing what this graph looks like. You can literally see the line um, that's still going up and to the right, um, it, and you should have some number somewhere that says, you know, this 
is a positive number, this is a negative number. These are obviously, uh, these are from previous clothes, these are daily, so it's probably better to notate this in some way, like this is daily, I mean it says it up here, previous clothes, right? Um, but the green and the red give us just a little bit more interesting to thing to look at. Cool. So, so far, we've added uh, URLs, we've added icons, we've added these um, colors, we've added color to the graphs over here, um, we've also deleted all of the excess um, information or, or lack of information, the blank things. The last thing we want to do is we want to create a nice, um, we want to put this information in a nicer manner. Now we have some room, right? Um, we might even be able to delete a couple of these rows, but for right now, let's see what we got. I'm going to move this um, information. Uh, let's, mm, yeah, let's move this information over here outside of this. There we go. Hmm. What else can we do? We can also move this over here. We're going to do something else with this. Give it a little more interesting thing. Let's go back to our eviuniverse.io and take a look. Get our free newsletter. We have this image. Perhaps we can take a screenshot of this and insert that. Let's try that. The reason for this is that once somebody clicks that button, we want them to visually realize what they should be doing there and we should match that, right? So let's do this. This is what we started with. This is where we are now. Um, let's delete this because we just need to get to eveuniverse.io and let's insert, let's see what this looks like, image in cell. Let's upload that. Let's just see what that looks like. It may or may not look the best, but we should just try it anyways. Get our free newsletter. And what happens then? Oh, <laughs> the screenshot took that little yellow thing. Oh my God. Let's take a better one of that. But actually, I don't know. Let's see if this looks better. Or this. Oh, it's gonna always do that. Okay, well, if... If you want to use this, maybe insert a different screenshot when you're not record when I'm not recording a video. But you get the idea. We can take a screenshot. But let me look at what does it look like if we insert into the cell that whole thing. <clears throat> um, Ooh, yeah, we need some more room for this. So maybe what we also need to do is all of this information here we need to put on somewhere else. Like, let's, we have a contact list. We'll come back to that soon. We'll design. We also, ooh, let's do this. Let's just copy this. And we're going to call this um, information. This is extra information we, we can know if we want to get you know, more information about the sheet. We can also recall this like settings or something. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just move all this text over here to this. And maybe you want to put some, I forgot what it is, like not trends, not policies, but like extra information in order for you to, you know, get additional enrich your knowledge about this sheet. But if we get rid of all of this stuff, right? I think it's gonna clear up a lot of room that we can give that one clear um, call to action, you know, sign up for our newsletter, put it right front and center, and then also allow the user to get rid of it, right? When, um, if they don't want it. So let's just delete all that. Oh, let's take this as well. We can always come back and, and design this in a nicer way too. Um, we can view 
to just quickly do that now. We can make this even bigger. Make this um, well, bigger, not smaller, bigger, bigger. Um, let's delete all the extra rows here. Okay, maybe not that big. <laughs> do, do, there we go. So that there. Oh, we want to make it definitely Helvetica. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe make this one wrap around. There we go. That looks nicer. Let's even give this background that blue. Ooh, this looks garish already. I already <laughs> don't like it. Let's give it this green. Um, just gonna go through here. This probably looks terrible to someone who actually has a good design eye, but it just gives you that idea that we can um, make these pages a little bit nicer than just black and white as well. Let's do that. There we go. So that looks a little bit better than just black and white. And also it takes away all that extra information that we had here and gives us a lot of room to work with this right here. Let's, there we go. Get our free newsletter front and center right away. Let's put a link here, EUN, EV Universe. There we go. And now we have, oh, pff, images don't do it. So we can't do that with images, um, but we should be able to, um, one second. Okay, here's a little bit of a change of our plan right here. We are going to make this text look super nice. And we're gonna say equals hyperlink. Um, here we say first um, subscribe to universe.io and then we want the link to be e the universe universe.io oh I definitely switched that around <laughs> That is good reason for errors to exist. So they tell us, what did we do wrong? There we go. Subscribe to universe.io. Let's give it a little bit more pizzazz. Let's use Pacifico here. Um, that might not be the best, but let's see if it's, ooh, that is hard to read. Um, let's not go with Pacifico. Um, let's go with Helvetica again. Cool. We can even uh, make this the same length. And that looks a little bit better. So now as we scroll down, we use these colors to give us that, that line across. Um, we've added these logos. Now once we scroll down, we have all the information we want. So as a user, I get all this information. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. We can also make this little white here. Let's see if that looks, that that sort of looks good right there. That looks nice. It gives it a little bound, makes it not go all the way to the boundary here. Um, we can do similar. We want to, we broke up something here. I know we did. I know we did. Oh, I guess it's been fixed. So we have that line all the way across. Now we have more room to actually use this as a as a tracker, right? We can see our names, uh, our numbers. We can see our our, our um, company names. We have our contact information here, just like a website we added here. We're going to come back to that. We have our information, but let's make this contact sheet a little bit more interesting. What I'm going to do now is something that is super fun to do: make these look like buttons, and it's pretty darn easy once you know the steps. Um, we're going to go, we're going to add one more column here. Uh, I'm going to resize these perfectly symmetrical resize columns. We're going to do 30 and we want these columns to be the same width as the height of these. You'll see why soon it'll just look nicer. We want 
it to be 30. There we go. Um, and now we, we have here is this text here is in the center of this sort of um, nine box rectangle. This nine box rectangle isn't going to mean nine boxes. We want to merge right here these four. What this is going to do is allow us to make a little shadow right here. And we do that with color. Um, we can use, let's use this first and use this box. We're going to make uh, the, this one. We're going to change the text to white. This case, I think it will look better with Pacifico. My God, that is almost unreadable. <laughs> but it makes it really fun. Um, let's do this. Can I can you take that underline off? And now this looks like a button, right? Well, what we have to do is we'll get rid of all these lines. It's going to look a lot cleaner soon enough. going to... Uh, view grid lines, take those off. All right, and then this center one, we like, we are gonna make a lot bigger. And now we're gonna center everything, center vertically line, center there. Now that looks like a big clickable button, and it is. It's a it's a link here. Um, we can then also let me see if I can just command C and paste format. I wonder if this works. Sort of worked. It, it got a lot of <laughs> things done. Um, let's make this email way bigger. And let's make this text. Let's move this text down one. Give it a little more space. We can also, because we're not like, all of our text is not scrunched in together, we can write this out. We can say, let me know if anything is missing. And we will put uh, one there and make this a big button as well. So, oh, it is all there. I just need to change the, um, what is it? The size. There we go. And I'm gonna make this all the same size, so these look the same. So resize select rows. Let's make this 50. See what that looks like. I'm gonna paste special format only. Great. Great! Let's just change this. Can we change it to white? There we go, buy me a coffee. Here's the email. Uh, I don't like this Pacific. Pacifico. I thought it would look way better. I'm going to do something crazy here. I wonder if Comic Sans is going to look okay. That looks way better. No one in their right mind is going to use Comic Sans, so I'm going to use it right here for this. I think it looks really cute. Um, I think we can also change this to... Helvetica, yeah, and we're gonna definitely change this white background. What should we do? Well, I really like um, darker backgrounds. Let's see what happens if we use pure black right here. Um, it's, I think it's gonna look a little too neon, a little too contrasty, but let's just see. Can quickly make this all black, and already I can see it's a little too dark for me. Um, so we're going to change it to charcoal. Um, we have, do we have an extra line? Oh, we do have an extra line because of that text. Um, but once that text shows up, it's not going to look so garish. So let's just change that to white. There we go. Let me know if anything is missing. Also, you can take that off. I don't think that's a super... Um, people will email you if they really need you. If they really need to or want to. Um, we have extra rows. Oh, my God. we got to get rid of these. Why didn't we get rid of these in the first place? There we go. So now we have this nice, cool looking, sort of like a link uh, a link tree. We can take the, um, I thought we could take, there we go, under, take those underlines off. Um, and once people hover over them, they're gonna get that link. Um, but let's change this to, 
charcoal. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that one's better. <laughs> What this does, it just doesn't hurt people's eyes when, with that contrast. And you can still you'll still be able to read this much easy, easily. There you go. That looks super elegant. At least it looks a lot better than what we had before. And we can also change this as well. Um, I didn't like this green. I thought green on green is a bit weird. Don't you agree? Um, and you can also make these... Uh, labels the same way they look like they can look like buttons. I think it's a cool aesthetic to have um, But yeah, we've definitely made this a lot easier to read a lot easier to use for users. We've made this big uh, Call to action right here at the top um, Let me go through all of the changes, but let's go and look at where we came from. We came from here. We came from this we we had this uh, black and white um, these frozen rows cut off pretty much like 35% of the screen. Um, we want this information on our sheet, but we want it when we need it. Um, also, we used a lot of uh, borders here, and we kept those grid lines. So what I did first off is I, I killed those extra rows and, and columns. Um, I killed those grid lines. We'll make our own. We used our own grid lines with colors. We took all a lot of that information, most of that information that we put on the front, we put it on contact and information sheets. You can also rename these. We made a cool little almost link tree style button list here. We made these into buttons. I love doing that. I think it makes it a really cool aesthetic. We added some visual elements like these icons. Definitely go and check out that other video. If you're watching this on YouTube, I have another video. I think it's called Add Icons to Your Sheets, Google Sheets with just a domain name. If you're watching your Better Sheets member, you have access to it in the same folder here. Um, we also did a really cool thing here with these graphs instead of just relying on the physical look of the, the black graph, because sometimes those you don't know where those points at the beginning and end look like. We did some math and we figured out, is, there, is it a gain or is it a loss? And we now color it green or red based on that. We, very similar to this here, but we did it on a graph. What's cool too is if you are fanciful, if you want some, if you want a task or a challenge, add another if in here to say if it's equal to zero. If the difference is absolutely zero or even like not a major difference, like maybe under one or between negative one and one, make it black. So you can add that. I, uh, re I rely on you and I challenge you to try that out to add another if. If you are having difficulty with that and you actually try it and you want to know how to do it, um, there are a few Better Sheets videos where I go into how to use if and multiple if functions. Um, but also feel free to email me and be like, hey, I tried to do this and I couldn't. I'm more than happy to help you out and where your problem is because um, it is a little confusing sometimes put, putting those uh, functions in between each other. If you want, um, the maker of the sheet can add these URLs here. Um, and what you'll do is you'll be able to, and all of these images will then pop up, right? So, or not all of them, the ones that have a favicon will show up. If you don't have a favicon, it'll look like this. Um, we also, we took colors from the original site. So this is evuniverse.io. If you are interested in EV stuff, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're interested in making better Google Sheets, uh, consider subscribing to my newsletter, bettersheets.substack.com. Everything you want to know about Google Sheets and making better sheets, you can find at bettersheets.co. Um, there, it will always be a lifetime deal. It is not a monthly service or a fee. Um, there will always be available a uh, lifetime deal. Right now, it's available on AppSumo. Get it for $19 and forever. I'll never charge you again. Um, go ahead and have a good time. Hope you enjoyed uh, this sheet improvement and making eviuniverse.io a much better sheet checker for their um, e the EV universe of stocks. Bye.